Dylan Dunnies has been relentless with his taunting towards Logan Paul on Twitter, mainly his fiance to be fair, and he's made it known over the past 24 hours that he has a post that could get him put in jail and the entire event canceled. Have Dylan Dunnies' post over the past week targeted at Logan Paul's fiance made him reevaluate his relationship and what are his honest thoughts on the entire situation? Make sure to stick around till the end for the full scoop. Dunnies has shared pictures of Danish model Nina Agdahl, who is nude in most and with other men on X, previously known as Twitter, in the lead-up to Tuesday's press conference and the fight later this year. Donnie's asserted that everything's public and that Paul reported his opponent for targeted harassment because of the photographs. He also claimed that Misfits, the boxing promotion, is censoring him because he went too far with the social media posts. Over several tweets, Donnie's wrote, one rule of mine, if you give it out, you've got to be able to take it. I embrace everyone's comments, good or bad. Unlike Logan, who turns off his comments, revealing his insecurities, which is completely true. As the past few years, the Paul brothers have used every opportunity to bash Dylan Donnie's name, claiming he's been ducking them, that he's a fake fighter, broke, and a lot more. Now, when it comes time to get the same treatment, he runs and cries for Dylan to stop. It got to the point where Dylan was getting disappointed that Logan wasn't responding to anything, as he's been hiding away. Dylan tweeted, Come on, Logan, you really don't have the guts to respond. This is getting dull. Show some spirit and fight back, kid. Although it appears Logan Paul has had enough of his antics as he tweeted out, You lied about this. You lied about wanting to go eight rounds. You lied about the cease and desist. You lied about saving my life in NYC. You lied about being a real fighter. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. The main reason fans are enjoying Dylan's antics is because of Logan Paul's history with his antics online. From the Japan incident to the more recent crypto zoo situation where he scammed his fans out of millions of dollars, which is still an ongoing lawsuit where they tried to claim because they didn't employ people in a certain state, it wasn't his fault. Regardless, people would want to see either of the pair get knocked out, which is what makes it such a big fight. On the same card you have KSI versus Tommy Fury which is big in itself but because of Dylan's promotion for his fight it's now the main event and the big spectacle which the entire internet now wants to see and you have to praise him for his promotion last month Paul proposed to Agdahl and Donnie's has since released a phony photograph implying that there is a chance the wedding may be put off due to his shenanigans. When that video got released from Logan, his comments were full of support as hardly anyone knew about Nina Agdahl and her past in Hollywood until Dylan spread it all over the internet. Now all the comments are, this is not a compliment. You both deserve each other. Based on social media, it's almost impossible to find a dude who hasn't engaged with your fiance. LMAOO. Very happy for you, bro. I hope you're the last person after her 796 relationships and datings she has a relationship with. Very happy, bro. What makes this situation 10 times funnier is when Nina went on impulsive for the first time before anyone on the internet knew her history with Hollywood when she was younger. And he praised her for multiple things, including this. You, you not having sex with me for the duration of time that you did was very important. You thought something was wrong with me. I, I'll be honest. I thought I did. You talked you talk to Mike about it. I said, this, this this girl's perfect as far as I can tell. <laughs> There's one unexplored <laughs> venture. And I, I have reason to believe that there's probably something wrong with it because if it's too good to be true, it probably is. How this entire promotion has unfolded has been nothing short of comical. As if you've been following it on Twitter, it has been every day for the past week. And he has stated he has content to post all the way up until the fight. So how much stuff has he got saved and where is he even getting it all from? On August 18th, Dylan claimed that due to his relentless post, Logan was trying to find a way to get him banned off the platform. Logan Paul has reported me for targeted harassment on platform X. He's trying to get my account banned. I really can't believe this guy. He is the biggest P I have ever seen. You can't make this stuff up. A lot of people had their mixed opinions on this. Some thought it was going too far as he's harassing Logan's fiance for no reason at all, especially posting her nude photos all over the internet. Then there were others stating it's all public domain so he isn't leaking anything, just posting stuff that's already out there for everyone to see and that it's the fight game so anything goes. One popular creator, Wade Plem, tweeted out, This is silly if true. 
The way he promotes may not be for everyone, but this is tame compared to other fight build over the history of this sport. At the end of the day, he has to answer for it in the ring. These two are going to fight, let the man promote. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest thoughts on how this entire situation has been handled? Has Dylan gone too far with his marketing tactics for the fight, or is it fair game because of how long the Pauls have taunted him the past few years? And who have you got winning the fight come October 14th? Comment below. When Dylan Donnies recently featured on the Full Send podcast, he spoke about his marketing tactics and if he feels he's gone too far with it all. So you're telling me that wouldn't do huge numbers. Me and Logan on the podcast, it would security in between. Of course it would. Of course it, it would. Like, why wouldn't he want to do that? You're missing do you the point. think that you actually haven't taken it too far? No. Everything's public. It's not like I'm getting her ex-boyfriends to send me pictures of her in bed. That would be pretty fucked up, I would imagine, right? I feel like the nude shit is just like, you can see how like Logan wouldn't want to have you on a pod after that. The whole point is he's like, yo, I built this show. I have a great following. Why do I want to give this guy that type of attention? Because that, would be, his big, that would be his biggest numbers, I think, bigger than the 6ix9ine podcast. But don't he you think this part care. of it's like, yo, I don't think he really... cares about big numbers after... You posted, that's what he wants. you posted nudes of his girl, bro. If anything, I'm showing her off. He's entirely right about the public domain stuff, as he cannot get in trouble for reposting photos that are already out there. It would be a completely different story if they were private photos. Dylan going on impulsive would be massive. Could you imagine them either side with security all in the middle? It would be hilarious and another great promotion for the fight. Then again, it will just happen at the press conference tomorrow when they see each other in person for the first time since everything has gone down. While on the Full Send podcast, he also stated that he's entirely in Logan Paul's head. I can't say too much, but he's really thinking about pulling out of the fight because of how personal it's getting. There's definitely trouble in paradise. He also claimed that the Twitter taunts are driving him insane and that Logan can't even train right now as a result, which I highly doubt is true. Just another way or trying to twist the narrative and get in Logan's head even further. It said that there will be over 5,000 people at the press conference tomorrow, which is insane. It'll be interesting to see if fans will be there to support Dylan Dunnies or Logan Paul, as the entire internet is siding with Dylan at the moment because of how hilarious his promotion has been this past week. To be fair to Logan, he posted a screenshot yesterday with a convo of his manager and KSI's manager, and it appears Dylan Donnese isn't willing to do an eight-round fight, which if so, is telling of his confidence when it actually comes time to fight. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.